As a health worker, you know there are many tasks and materials involved at every step of an immunization session, from checking vaccines to recording each injection. The immunization session checklist can help you remember everything you need for a complete, safe session. This checklist is a reminder of key points for preparing, carrying out and closing sessions. It is meant to reinforce positive actions. To use this list, you need to be familiar with national immunization schedules, vaccine administration, waste disposal, data collection and other details of standard operating procedures. Let us look at how the immunization session checklist can help you ensure safety before, during and after a session. Before a session, the checklist can help you make sure you have everything you need, beginning with the right quantity of vaccines and diluents. It also provides a list for checking the quality of the vaccines to make sure they are safe and effective, and to make sure vials are placed correctly in the immunization area. The checklist also helps you remember important supplies from syringes and safety boxes to immunization cards. Finally, it is a good reminder to wash your hands before every session. The checklist can be a very helpful tool during a session. In fact, a copy of the checklist should always be posted on a wall in the immunization area for easy viewing throughout the session. The checklist is a useful tool for remembering key steps of the immunization process, beginning with greeting the caregiver and assessing an infant's eligibility for vaccination. It also walks through the steps of administering the vaccine from reconstitution to disposing needles and syringes. And it lists critical steps after administration, like recording the vaccination and communicating key messages to caregivers. Finally, the immunization session checklist can help you remember critical tasks after the immunization session. For example, it lists key points for handling open vials, recording important information from the session, including listing any defaulters, correctly disposing of safety boxes, and taking steps to prepare for the next session, such as checking stock and informing the community of the date and time of the next session. Finally, make sure you have copies of the checklist available for the next session. Now you know how to use the immunization session checklist to ensure safety before, during and after every session.